those at the UN, those are the highest diplomats from all over the world. Yeah. And they didn't know anything to make a conversation about China. On. So when he comes and says, where you find good Georgia food, her answer was just like she would if you'd come, only at our house when you come in the dinner. <laughs> See? And we had the whole, usually that you invite the ambassador, an ambassador and his family, but we had all about 16 of them to dinner. And every last one of them had been educated sometime or other in an American school. See? And so they knew everything there was to know about us. And, um, but they also got a chance to read our emotions and feelings and principles. And they came to trust us. So when I asked him not to veto a resolution that was condemning China for invading Vietnam, now this is right after the, here we've been selling people on the domino theory that um, if Vietnam goes, you know, that, I mean, right. that there, there is dominoes. Yes. And, um, and that's the last war that China's had, 1979. And I normally, State Department wouldn't say anything to them. They would put in the resolution, grandstand about it, and make them feel bad. So yeah, I took the resolution to it, <laughs> to, the, to the leader. And um, I let him read it and I told him that if my country was being condemned by the Security Council, we'd veto it. So you not let it not let it happen. I said, if you would simply abstain and let it happen, you'd probably be the first country that has abstained on a resolution criticizing them. I said, you set a new principle at the UN, hmm. see? And he, he, his answer was, but Vietnam started. I said, yeah. I said, Vietnam's gonna be condemned too, see? Um, but the major invasion was Chinese, and we need you to withdraw from Vietnamese territory. And, and get them to withdraw. From, I don't know, we created some kind of car to there. Um, but that was the end of it. But because they didn't veto it, the UN could keep on acting on it. And, uh, and they haven't had any more trouble. They haven't had another war since 1979. And um, so some recognition. Of and what year did you ask them to do it? 1979. That was that year. Yeah, that so, was the last war they had. So they, so you're. Um, so they're not bad. They're so not rec recognizing they, their. Sorry. Yeah, recognizing their, their strengths. They have not that they have not initiated wars since mm -hmm. then. And, and see, so much, so much of uh, our stuff about China is like this stuff about Russia. It's fear. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's what I remember. That's one of the things you've talked about in terms of domestic politics, too, yeah. is that a lot of the racism is based on fear. Mm -hmm. So, fear it's villainized someone. Mm -hmm. Well, I, so, I mean, I have, I, I've been thinking but about what, from But in terms of the, what I would want to do with China, one, is help them with their integration problems. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know the number. The number that he told me, I think, was 142. Yeah. That sounds a lot. Well, they, they count every ethnic group, and it's a huge country. I mean, it's like yeah. all of Europe, you know, if you, yeah. what, what the, from the laps in North, you know, in the Sweden all the way to S Sicilians or whatever. Yeah. yeah. So 142, 142 is not. 142, it's possible. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But 95% of people are what you'd call Han Chinese, but in that 5%, which is uh, over 100 million, mm -hmm. a billion people. Yeah. And it was five, I could say five million, five million, huh? 13 million. 
I'm sorry, it's, it's, <laughs> the numbers are so big, yeah. large numbers, particularly in the South. Uh, and then, of course. But for instance, we could have, see, what Obama did with the, what did they call it? The virus that hit during his time. Uh, right. Uh, Not Ebola. No. Ebola, yeah. What's it, it was Ebola? Ebola. Okay. He, he got, uh, in fact, she's still uh, um, Susan Rice, to take a delegation from the Center for Disease Control. And they moved half, I mean, a whole section of, of research and treatment from the Center for Disease Control into West Africa. Mm -hmm. And they treated it over there. And we only had something like three or four cases that reached here. Yeah, it was very successful. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. so help them with their minority problems, help them with their health uh, problems. Health problems. Because our, see, I was looking at, and it scares me when I think about it. Uh, did you see the thing on television about this new uh, space? Um, Hubble telescope oh, yeah. successor. Um, it's huge. It's not only is it huge. Powerful. It's it's going to be able to go all the way back to photograph everything from the Big Bang up. Yeah. <laughs> and. Um, They have, I don't know how they do it, but the lady was saying that by the, they can tell by the picture whether there's nitrogen or oxygen or, or you know, there's something that uh, contributes to the growth of our, our growth here. Uh, one of the minerals that, that to find minerals um, that we know are d essential to life would give us some idea of, of what the what whether what kind of life there is on the, these in, in this solar system uh, but it uh, is scary <laughs> you see uh, and it um, I mean, it certainly threatens my grandmama's view of heaven. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and, well, I don't know. Well, so here, here's my, here's what I see so far. Uh, this is just kind of collecting all of the stuff that has been published mm -hmm. about China lately, not all, but a lot of it. So, on the one hand, the positive, there's lots of positives. We have trade, we're tied to the hip. They have bought a lot of our U.S. debt. Uh, they're uh, partners in the U.N. You know, partly Roosevelt did that, made them a major, you know, one of the five powers. Yeah. And, uh, and, and they are now the second largest power in the world. Uh, they have a goal, as you say, of world peace. They haven't been in that many wars. They haven't, they don't have colonies all over. There's some discussion of the Belt and Road is a way to set up military. To some extent, that's probably happening, but not nearly but, as much as we've but done. So, yeah. I mean, their colonialism doesn't interfere with people's governments. Yes. So, we hope they don't. <laughs> well, I'm not sure. See, I um, well, I, I believe in amalgamation. <laughs> Well, we need some good socialism. I, you know, yeah. there's social democracy, and that is great. No, but, but for instance, uh, I think that, you know, the, the Indians and the Chinese and the Africans went to the Jamaica as slaves. Uh, and since they were all slaves, they mixed. And they're some of the most beautiful people in the world <laughs> that make up that mixture, you know, that are a result of that mixture. And um, I, um, well, I, 
I don't know what the plan of the Lord is for his, his people, but one of the ways to, for us to stop killing each other is for us to be friendly yeah. and integrated. Yeah. And um, Well, we have so far half Colombian kids and half Japanese American mm -hmm. kids, so we're, we're, we're there. And I think a lot of young people are there compared mm -hmm. to yeah. the previous generations. Very different. So we've one of the things that we have done as positive is we supported independence after World War II with the United, you know, you were there, the, the whole charter is against war and against colonization and against taking people's sovereignty. But I think we've got to find a way to keep people from being afraid of China. Yeah, no, I, I agree. And, and so the, those are, these are things that... And like when I tell people that I learned about this from a Chinese Muslim, people say, so, well, how you get a Chinese Muslim? I said, I don't know. He was Chinese, and he said he was a Muslim. Yeah. I have to take him at his word. Well, they've been so, at the, the Silk Road was, was yeah. there for a thousand years. Yeah. So yeah. then there's some negatives, the things that worry people. And there, there's a wolf warrior tradition right now going on in China, historical grievances. Oh, what kind? Well, they, the, the mil some of the military, I mean, in my take on this, imagine the Cuban Missile Crisis. Here's Curtis LeMay sitting there saying to Kennedy, the only thing to do right now is to use those missiles. And luckily, there were enough people in the room where Kennedy or, you know, everybody takes credit yeah. for that now, but <coughs> to not listen to Curtis LeMay. I guess I think there are Curtis LeMays in China because of their historical problems. Yeah. The, the challenge will be to keep those people from giving the bad advice to Xi that he would take. I mean, he, I'm not saying he would, but Kennedy certainly came very close to, you know, the Joint Chiefs of Staff were unanimously for dropping, bomb. dropping the bomb. So I, I assume there's some, and, and they talk about Wolf Warrior. This is one of their Wolf Warrior. Wolf Warrior. This is one of the Wolf, Wolf Warrior. Warrior. This Never is one of the, that. well, uh, this is one of the Chinese, and so some of the Chinese military talk in those terms. Doesn't mean they all do, doesn't but mean they, they're listened to. They but, believe in being aggressive. Well, or, or there it's a complicated thing. It's survival. Survival, right? They is what they would probably say. Is, so they have the historical... The wolf is not... The wolf doesn't go yeah. out of his territory yeah. to hunt. I never think of wolves as anything in China. Well, it, the idea I is mean, that they, it's time for them to be tough, you know, and... and no, but, but that's part of what we don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so, so there like are... We, 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 I mean, I, I have just been amazed at how little I knew about Korea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, and, and maybe I've been to Korea six or seven times. Well, I remember we talked about, you know, the... But every time, the, and I, I haven't been to China but twice, but I've never, hmm, I've never had a scary experience. And John Bryant, who's... Mm -hmm. um, his wife went to China when she was in her early 20s. Shadra. Shadra. And she was, was um, doing something with Donna Caron Cosmetics mm -hmm. in China. She was representing them. And she, she stayed in China three years. Oh, my goodness. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, we I met her on the Africa trip. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Well, I definitely share all of your, huh. I mean, that's why I, I think you're such an important resource on this. Huh. I mean, I totally share your positive hopes for all this. And I guess the, I just was, but in terms of talking to groups, the things that scare